Hi guys, uh, I decided to do this video uh, um, because I sent my raw data. You can download the, the raw data from the 23andMe and send it to any company or actually use it for your own. I don't know how would you use it for your own. I just send it to some other companies. Uh, I used the free option on all of them, not all of them. I actually paid for my heritage ethnic uh, re, uh, ethnic uh, results. I think I paid uh, 36 euros or something like that because I live in Spain. That's the currency we use here. Um, then, um, well, first of all, let's read because there is a difference between companies and why this is uh, why this difference. I've found this thing. Is actually I found it in on the DNA land uh, help thing to like uh, conceptualize what is ancestry, what what they define as ancestry, and what other companies define as ancestry. The thing is like uh, like like in a nutshell, they say every company does what they want. It's like they have their own algorithm to determine whether you are from one region or other. If you fit and what they think is one ethnicity from that country every every company do their job and it doesn't doesn't think that is uh, that doesn't, doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it's uh, wrong the results that uh, one company is showing and the other is not showing we're gonna see that actually the difference between my heritage and uh, the other companies uh, about my actually my specific ethnic uh, result and then I'm gonna talk more deeply about it later uh, first of all let's uh, recap here what I had on the 23andMe it was 50% Native American 45% European 0 7 Sub-Saharan and some other little trace ancestry that they call Iranian uh, roughly Asian well anyway and assign to that five percent. Then I've uploaded to this uh, this company that is free. They show your uh, ethnic results like uh, it's free for free. Mm. Uh, and that says that I'm fifty five percent Native American and forty one percent West Eurasian. West Eurasian. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these things. Um, well, Southern European, which be like the region of Spain, is 23, 20, 23%, which in 23, I mean, was like, I think, 38, yeah, 38%. Ashkenazi Jews, well, here it's 5%, and the other was like 23, uh, it was, what, 1%. Vulcan is 2 dot five percent in what that didn't appear as a like a specific region maybe like in broad 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 uh, European or something like that South Central European which is the region of uh, Italy is one dot five percent one dot eight percent Arab Arab Egyptian that did not appear in my in 23 and me that's four percent ambiguous two percent Central Indo-European two percent Siberian one dot five percent that's cool North African that did not appear as well, one dot two percent. Yeah, well, let's say fifty percent native and fifty percent non-native. That's I guess that's why the uh, these things appear. Then that's my heritage again. I did pay for these results, not a full thing, but it was like. Uh, 36 percent uh, 36 uh, euros uh, here f again I've, I've found some Latinos that they say well the here the the uh, my heritage is combining the Native Americans with the uh, Spaniards well like the very uh, Ivory results uh, I've read the definition of my heritage they are not doing that so for my heritage for their algorithm I'm 86 percent uh, native American, so proud to be Native American now. Well, actually, I'm almost full Native American. And 
and that's fine i don't know because some of the, some of the latinos are like kind of upset no 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 i have to have some of my spanish well you don't have to that's what happens like uh, with the with the combination of the countries uh, uh, sorry uh, ethnicities uh, things with you but maybe you didn't get any of the iberian iberian result or at least what my heritage is checking well for them you are don't have anything that uh, for them is iberian so what cool man be proud to be native uh well they here it says volcanic six uh, percent which is uh in the in dna land was two percent something yeah it was like two dot five percent in south european and here it was something like yeah broadly southern european that could be that was like uh four dot six percent and then this is new irish five percent mm. you may say that maybe is in the broadly european that was uh in 23 mid was 0 0.4 percent and dna land was uh i don't remember which ambiguous yeah two two dot four percent you could think that is in this group but this is new and this is one is called because it says uh, one dot eight percent which actually matches the siberian results here in dna land it almost matches one to five percent and in the other set uh, one to eight percent cool so <laughs> i also uploaded uh, my results well to other companies to to see my traits <laughs> i am i am focused in for instance this one the nic nicotine response i don't know how to pronounce again but for them, learn more. Your GG genotype is associated with an average risk of becoming addicted to nicotine. But when I went to Genome Link, again, I did not pay for any other trait or thing or genetic report, something. I just used the free one. About uh, smoking, says that um, you are less likely to smoke heavily and they talk actually about the same gene if you see here 105173030 that's the one here then not to be a heavy smoker so they are talking about the same gene but they are saying two different things here is that here they are saying that i'm likely to not be a heavy smoker here they are saying that i'm actually an average an average risk of becoming a heavy smoker i would like this some other traits they i think for me it's like uh you know this uh, i don't know how to say that in english uh the like uh Oh, oh, it went out of my mind. Capri, like a uh, sign. So, which sign are you like? Cancer or any any other any other sign like this star thing? I I I think it's like. Uh, I mean. Uh, if you if you read the information about the traits they are saying that's just for fun that uh, doesn't it's just about some of uh, genetics and that uh, doesn't is is not taking in account your actually envir envir environmental um, background or genetic or whatever they call it so for fun it's okay i it's not to take it's not uh, it's not meant to to be taken seriously and yeah i'm i'm trying to be a musician and that sucks i'm trying to be a music musician and saying that uh you are less likely to be able to match a musical pitch uh, <laughs> so if if sometimes uh, sometimes i'm bad i can say that that's genetic <laughs> 
and that would be all I guess if you have any questions let me know in the comments below bye